ASMR tarot forecast. Now, um, I did just do the 2021 yearly forecasts last week, so those will already be posted by the time that these go live. It's a lot of readings. in the foreground and I would like for you focus is going to be a challenge for this part of the video, so I hope that you'll bear with me. Now, in order to bring new things into your life, serving you. It's the same as if you were cleaning out a storage space or your car to travel or your bedroom if you want to get a bigger bed or your closet to bring in new clothing. Sometimes you change your sense of style slightly and certain garments no longer fit or they become worn and tattered and it's time to replace them and get new things that fit your new self better. So now I want you to, in relation to the things that you'd like to bring into your life, consider the things that you're going to have to let go of before you're able to bring those things in and I want you to send them into the flames, all right? that I'll be released. 
releasing so that I can bring new and better energy into my life in 2021. Don't be so quick to throw the whole year out though. I know that together we've been going through a lot of personal transformation this year. And it's important to remember that in order to bring in new things, you have to let go of the old. And sometimes you don't want to let go of things that you end up having to put aside in order to bring the new things in. Just because these things are comfortable familiar, beloved even, you have to trust that you're letting go of them because better things await you.
perceptions of the situation. Now, for whatever reason, in the current situation, you perceive there to be an injustice. Uh, we did have the Two of Pentacles, of course, coming up in the past. So there is an equanimity in your life, but only you, each individual person, are going to know what this injustice represents to you. Let's look at the flip side of that, how everyone else perceives this situation. And here we have the judgment card in the reverse. So that could be a reference to a trial that you have come through as far as a test more than a legal situation. To me, it looks like there was some way in which you were tested. And even though you were able to come through that situation quite well, that uh, you perceived it as being unfair that you were even being tested like this to begin with. Let's look at the future. And we'll return to the current state of affairs after I finish this part of the reading and I'll pull some more cards from the Enigma deck about the current situation because this December of 2020 reading is, um, of course, coming out after the 2021 yearly reading. So I want to tell you as much about this, the month of December and what might be going on as I possibly can. All right, so here in the future, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is about a successful career path that you are embarked on already. So here we had the energy of the fool coming out in the current state of affairs. I think that you're fully aware of what this entails and you're fully aware of what lies between you and this eight of pentacles. And coming out with that eight of pentacles is the soul. I think for sure that whatever this Eight of Pentacles career situation represents, it's something that you are highly, highly passionate about. So, the next part of the reading so the next part of the reading over here, we're going to talk about your hopes and fears. Here in the middle is going to be about the goal or destiny. And then off to this side is the final outcome. Okay. So your hopes and fears. We have the devil card coming out here. And to me, I think that you're afraid that... Uh, your baser instincts because again we have somebody who's really operating from gut instinct and emotion that you're afraid that might lead you astray I don't see that happening but it is always a possibility right so finally, let's look at the goal and destiny and your final outcome. 
is the moon card in the reverse. Now, the moon card here in this deck is often called a Pisces card, but because the moon is native to Cancer, I also tie this card closely to Cancer, especially because there's usually some kind of shellfish crawling out of the water here at the bottom, and the reason for that is that molting cycles of shellfish are possibly tied to moon cycles, and also that the full moon is not a particularly good time to put out shellfish traps, but that the new moon is an excellent time. So, it's still very tied to Cancerian energy. Now, in the upright, this card is dark enough as far as uh, it being about the obscurity that comes with the light provided by the moon. But when this card is in the reverse, it can also be talking about um, some kind of treachery or betrayal or an obstacle-laden path. Now remember, we had the fool coming out in the reverse, so I think that you're very aware of what these obstacles could be. And then finally, we have the Ace of Swords, and this Ace of Swords is in the upright, which is very positive, but the Ace of Swords is a very uh, structural change that you'll be making in your life, moving forward, possibly into the year 2021. And this structural change is going to be affected from within, whereas when you get the Death card or the Tower card, those are structural change that is affected from without inward. All right, so that's the main part of the reading. Let's pull some of these Enigma cards and look at this current situation a little bit deeper. Remember, on the two sides of it, on your side, we had the Justice card reversed, and on the outside, looking in, we had the Judgment card in the reverse. And between them, your Knight of Cups. So, in reference to this perception that there is a lack of justice in your existence at this time, uh, first off, we had the telepathy coming out, and now we have um, divination coming out. So, this perception of a lack of justice may be because you are perceiving things on an extrasensory level. So that it's not, um, like, uh, it's possible the more you know about other people's motivations or the more that you can detect about other people's motivations, the more you realize how much people are only in it for themselves and the more you feel like they are being unjust with you because of that. We have the new moon coming out here. Now, this could be about something happening at the new moon. The new moon is a very dark time, and so it could have to do with this very dark period of the moon. It could also have to do with a time when you're pushing things out of your life that are no longer serving you. The new moon is a good time for that. And finally, this part of the reading, we have the water card, elemental water, which is very much a part of cancer energy. Let's look at this. Let's use that to, to, to transition now 
into this Knight of Cups energy. So now we have also air energy coming out. Now, air could be swords, and we do have swords coming out. It could be um, you using some kind of uh, spiritual symbiosis between water and air to um, water and air both have motion but air is more action oriented than water fire being the most action oriented and thus why the knights are fire energy but air is the king's energy and so is related also to the action that comes from experience. We have the obelisk. The obelisk is a physical manifestation of worship sometimes. It can also be speaking about a timeless kind of energy in which this object uh, transcends ages. Um, and often obelisks are used to represent man's relationship with the sun, with solar energy. So it's interesting that that would be coming in at this time as well with that King of Cups. A reminder that the moon is not the only celestial body that has an impact on your life. Excuse me. And then finally we have the bell. Now, the bell energy, or rather what the bell represents, you can see up here in this corner, this little demon flying away. Oftentimes, loud noises are used to banish negative energy from a space. Bells are also used as a warning. You can see um, there's a little tiny picture of a bomb up here at the top. So almost like an air raid siren. And then here we have an echo of the imagery from the divination card. So, um, this beginning as a divination and then be, and then moving into being sounded as an alarm for you. <laughs> All right. And finally, we're going to look at that judgment card in the reverse. How other people perceive this situation. We have love. It's entirely possible that um, you have one or more people in your life who support you with love. We have the scorpion. So this could be about, uh, of course, Scorpio energy, a fellow water sign. Um, but it can also be about um, something lying in wait to sting. Now, um, scorpions, of course, can be found in treacherous situations where there's not very much light. Um, sometimes they like to hide in people's shoes. Stuff like that. So, uh, scorpions could be one of the many things lying in wait for you along this treacherous path. We also have the waning gibbous moon. So again, with the new moon energy, the waning gibbous 
gibbous moon being right after the full moon and then the new moon being an excellent time to push things out of your life that no longer serve you which definitely go along with this ace of swords energy and another way that I'm reading this now too which is why I like to pull these clarifiers here at the end it could be that you perceive all of these injustices and the people around you uh, realize that life is made up of trials like this and that you have many more ahead of you before you reach success because again this is coming out in your goal or destiny position so I think it's something you're more than capable of conquering in the long haul but you have to get out of you have to get out of this mindset that these are injustices being done to you these are just things that are part of existence in this particular world and things will definitely change and it's important to always be working on changing them but that um, that it's not an injustice being perpetuated against you in particular in this case all right cancer well that's your reading for December of 2020 I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again very very soon thank you thank you thank you thank you for joining me today if you enjoyed this reading please do like share subscribe leave me a comment down below I love hearing from you guys So, um, if submissions haven't closed yet, be sure to fill the form out down in the description for a chance to win one of three free readings.